Welcome to Telegraph Cars review of the last year. We're going to talk about family cars. Family cars. I reviewed the Toyota Aris and from a firm that makes the awesome GT86, I found the Aris about as interesting as watching mm. my kettle boil. Yeah, I mean, you can get kettles that sort of light up and change colours and things like that when you boil them, which it's, are quite nice. It's still a kettle boiling, Chris. It's still a kettle boiling. Japanese hatchbacks, the <laughs> Nissan Pulsar. Yes. Man, that's a boring car. Yes. That is a boring I, car. I, I'm just, yeah, I can't it's, wait to hear more about it, Yeah, Chris. it's spacious, but God, it's boring. Space is very, very, very important. Very especially important. if you've got a buggy and, I mean, you're a family man, you know what it's like. I do, yeah, yeah. No, and I still wouldn't buy a Nissan Pulsar. Ford Focus, we should talk about. Yes, handles well. Yeah, I like, I like the Ford Focus. It's Not good the car. most spacious model in the class, though. True. Um, and also, in this class, we've got one to look out for that we haven't driven yet. It's coming later this year, 2015, and that is the Renault Megane. Yes. The new Renault Megane. From the firm that wears the crown for hot hatches, yeah. I think that could be a good one. It could be, yeah. And interestingly, I had a look at this car at the Frankfurt Motor Show, sat in it and prodded all the buttons like you're supposed to. And uh, the thing that really stands out is it's got a touchscreen, like they all do, but it's a portrait one. So like you get in a Tesla or a yes. Volvo XC90. Yeah. It's quite cool. That is quite, quite cool. Like I'm it. looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. So, watch this space on the Megane. I'm going to put in a word for the Peugeot 308 here. Okay. I, I run the SW Estate version as my long term. It's massive. It's so big. It's got a bigger boot than a Volkswagen Passat Estate. <laughs> you sound so interesting, Chris. <laughs> but I quite like it. Boot capacity is important, but I think more important than that is access to the space. So hatchback style tailgates, extra rear doors, yep. you know, that's... All valid points, yep. which is why the winner is the Volkswagen Golf. Golf, yes. Can we get excited about that? <laughs> The Golf R, we can. We like oh, that. Oh, yes, we can definitely get excited about that. What about the Audi A3 Sportback? Yeah, if you're going to buy a Golf, always look at an Audi A3 Sportback as well because mm -hmm. they're actually not that much more expensive and you get the premium badge and you get better residual values and all those things. You do, so, and it depends what time of the year and month you're making your purchase yeah. because dealers need to hit their... Uh, that is true. Yeah. Haggle hard. Yes, haggle hard. Uh, in the meantime, though, our winner for this category is... Gotta be the golf. 